morning everyone, welcome back to Court Climbs. We are on our way to Military Wall in the north. <laughs> you can shut it, babe. <laughs> uh, that was cute though. We are on our way to Military Wall in the Northern Gorge. Last night it dumped rain, like legit dumped rain. So Military Wall was in the guidebook as one of the crags that is hopefully going to stay dry. We're also climbing with our friends Therese and Jack today. I am super duper stoked about climbing with Therese and Jack because it's been like a year since I've gotten to climb with them. Dun, dun, dun. This is good music. Military Wall is located in the Northern Gorge which has a cool drive through this tunnel called the Nada Tunnel. We park on the side of the road in one of the little pull-off parking spots and have a quick hike around 10 minutes to the crag. We start with a couple of five nines to warm up that we've climbed before called Moonbeam and Sunshine. For whatever reason, these climbs always pump me out way more than I expect, especially when I do them as first routes of the day. I think that they are a lot more overhung than they seem, especially because they are completely dry even after last night's downpour. Nobody faint, but is legitimately Therese in the flesh with me at an outdoor crag. This is the best day of my life. Jack hops on in the light, a 510C on the right side of the wall. The biggest, most difficult move is a move towards the top of the route, but he makes light work of it, moving with ease across the face of the wall. So Jack just finished in the light. I I think all of his sun power comes from this right here. Let's get a shot. Yeah, that's good. I hate myself. <laughs> Andrew, AKA Sport Tuna, is back climbing with us today. I found a guy that, you know, he loves the internet, so we're gonna put him on it. Can you, can you tell us about your plan? Instead of a rope, what do you wanna bring? When you're climbing, just like get a huge, giant, massive chain. And once you reach the top of the root, just like pull the chain up and coil it at the top. Mm -hmm. And so like the mass, you know, is created than what you are. And there you go, you don't need anchors or anything. Petzl, Black Diamond, any other brands out there? Investor, no. Investors welcome. Yep. Thank yep. you for your ingenuity. Therese and Jack are working a 511B called Fuzzy Undercling. The starting move is, well, you guessed it, an undercling, with a reachy move up to a pinch. The beginning is definitely the hardest part. They encouraged me to try it, but I don't have much luck at all. Well, we really missed out on the treat with the start. We did some very fancy hip thrust pull flop <laughs> technique. Tried the same three moves like six times, then, Climbed most of the rest of an 11B, pretty much bolt to bolt on top rope, so. But you did it. I did it. I literally feel like I can't lift my arms to take my shoes off. Couldn't untie the rest of myself from the knot. But technically I was at the top of an 11B. Congratulations. First time I've ever done that, I think. Yep. Wouldn't want to do that again. <laughs> So Andrew's climbing said 11B much more gracefully than we were. Nice, Andrew. One more. Come on, come on. 
more, one more up. Yeah. Here at Court Climbs, we take uh, recovery very seriously. What's this, uh, what is this that you're doing? Leave me alone. The all this. This is what we call in the climbing community, chas. <laughs> Who's that tromping over my bridge? All right, we are currently en route to Fantasia. We're gonna go see if it's dry. We've been climbing at Military Wall all day. Honestly, I've been going through some like weird mood swings all day. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because I got here at like almost 3 a.m. last night. I've been going on and off through like really feeling hyped to climb and then really feeling like I suck at climbing. And I don't know, I just think it's important for people to know that that's fairly normal, I think. Um, at least I hope it's normal, because <laughs> that's how it... Some days that's just how it goes. But I'm excited to go to Fantasia. I'm also carrying this can around like an idiot because I can't find anywhere to throw it away. We ended up getting on Creature Feature at Fantasia, which was just as fun of a route as I had heard it was from other climbers. It's a tall route, like 80 to 90 feet, and the start is balancey. Then you pull yourself up and over the roof, which is the crux. The rest of the route is jugs in the form of these big plates, and it just looks and feels super sick to be on. There's nothing better than the experience you're having. Heel hook. Yeah. Oh my god. Heel hook. Back hang. All right, name. Flip around. Look how fancy he looks. I definitely would have rested. I don't know if he could look how fancy he looks. He, he unclipped it. He's good. You got it. Go, Stick with go, it. Go, Come go, on. Go, go, go. Yep. Yeah. Pull up after pull up, after pull up, and then stand up. Do you think you're motivating? I think so. Am <laughs> I not? Yeah. <laughs> the better. Says nice. <laughs> well, when you say pull up after pull up, that sounds upsetting nice. to me. Yeah. <laughs> For Jed, he probably was like, oh, this is the easy part. Just It's just pull up after it's pull up. power, no technique. I cannot properly convey the angle that this is at. But it's crazy. So we just packed up the entire car to get ready to go to the crag and realized that we don't know what crag we're going to. So I flipped the guidebook open to a random page and it landed on practice wall and recess wall. Now, let me tell you, these walls are the crown jewels of the Red River Gorge with, I don't even know how many, like at least five to ten one star route ratings on low grade climbs like five six to five eight. And I'm not saying that to make fun of the grades, I'm just saying I've never seen an area with so many one-star ratings in the red. Despite all that, we're going to check it out, because one-star ratings in the red are five-star ratings in Ohio. Last night, we went to Red Point, which is this new barbecue place, and I would highly, highly recommend it. The food was delicious. I got this chicken with apricot glaze and sweet potatoes, and it was amazing. And we met up with our friends unexpectedly, Anna and Brandy. I went to Miguel's and got the ever-coveted Miguel's Pizza t-shirt that so many people have, and I finally got one after, like, 15-plus trips to the Red. It's the Dodo's Delight. It's the Dodo's Delight. Shining bright in blue and white. It's the Dodo's Delight. Look at the cows. Don't look at the cows, just look at the road. 
The road, road, road. This place has a home wall in it. Another dream, another stupid plastic scene I have to live in a manufactured like a rat. My breath. Maybe one day I'll escape the monotony. I don't know if you can see it on camera, let's cool up. We had already made plans, but you found a way to go completely. So the arrow points are right, but I think we have to go that way. These do not pee under overhangs. Rain cannot reach this area to refresh soil. Don't do it. And there are things I just don't mention, like how certain shades of yellow still remind me of your hair. And Short and sweet. My mind Low exposure. Shawty. Slabbly toe. Practice wall ended up being surprisingly difficult for the grade, but I have a feeling it might be because we aren't super used to climbing a lot of slab. I want everyone to know that I feel lied to. We came to practice wall for a chill day of 5'7 through literally like 5'6. I think there's a 5'4 here. We came to practice wall for easy routes. These routes are lies. They don't have any jugs. Like, I don't know what the people that created this thought jugs were, but they don't know what a jug is. It's slabby. The feet are kind of hard to find. If you come to practice wall expecting a really chill day, don't, don't just don't do that. It's actually almost scarier to climb here because all the routes are only like 20 feet, if that. So if you fall, you're probably decking. We thought it might get pretty busy because it does have a lot of beginner routes and it's easy to get to, but we were the only ones there until the early afternoon. I should say, we were the only ones there besides this group of people that were rappelling with a Red River Gorge climbing guide that saw me and said, I watch your videos. I did not catch your name, but it was very nice meeting you, random climbing guide individual. This route is called Irish Mud. It's a 5.8 minus and it actually has jugs. So I asked Jed and Andrew how I'm supposed to know where the sun rises and sets. And they said, it rises in the east and sets in the west. And I said, how, like, is there an easy way to remember that? And Jed said, yeah, you can put it to music. <laughs> what does the sun do? Rises in the east. What does, where does the sun set? Sets in the west. That's not hopeful, Jedrick. Row, row, row your son. No, it Rising sense. from the east. <laughs> There's a song. Merrily, 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 merrily. in the west. We just came down these stairs and then down this little ladder. And now we are going to climb two five eight routes. What are they called, Andrew? Mona Lisa and Built for Life, I think. Mona Lisa and Built for Life. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, stay hyped. I'm older now, but I still don't know what to say. I didn't even make the second part. You look like a deranged ghost.